Welcome back. We're reminiscing with some people that know a lot about history. We're talking with Ross Slavic, Fred Hudson, and Marlene Rowe. Hi. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having us. You know, the uh, Boone County Historical Museum's been here for, for quite a while, and you got an event coming up. Was it this month or next month? It's April. 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 Okay. April 30th uh, is the day that the school cornerstone was laid yeah. back in 1912. So wow. we are going to have a centennial celebration so beginning the, April 30th. Is there a time capsule in the cornerstone? There is. Ooh. There is a time wow. capsule. Wow, how cool. And, uh, do, you know what, do you have a list of what's in, in the time yeah. capsule? We, you we know what's in there. Right. We, have we have a good idea of what's in there. Uh, although the items weren't all detailed, uh, there were items from a number of community uh, at churches and uh, uh, clubs, social groups. Can you tell us, school. or do you have to wait till? Oh, you're going to have to. Oh, you're going to have to wait for we that surprise. Wait. That is, uh, we'll have the ceremony. Um, we are working out the details now, and um, uh, we'll publish a schedule of events uh -huh. for that day. Okay. Okay. Maybe they have a like a 1900 cell phone or something in there. It's going to be. Well, we're well, going to put things in it after. Oh yeah, you are. Going to Great. See what yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us what you're going to put in? Is that going to be a secret, too? For the next too? 100 years. We are going to look at uh, okay. what, 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 you want to put in? what we want to put in there to commemorate. It's the, a big secret. Well, it is. And you have to put a lot of thought into it. Like, what is important that you want the next generation to, to know about, right? Exactly. <coughs> exactly. Because so maybe 100 years from now, they'll open up that... <laughs> yeah the cornerstone uh, again and uh -huh. find what we put in there, which would be awesome. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. Well, I'll tell us when that's going to be. And can people come and, and view we, this? We will be inviting the public, the yes. Co the community will be invited to this, yes. Okay. We'll have a big day of this, so. Okay. And uh, so we're really thrilled about this. And and uh, Tonette is really working on this right now and so on. So. And Tonette is your director? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And what do y'all do? Just help? We're on the well, board. We're on the board. Uh, secretary, treasurer, just on the board. You're just at <laughs> just large. Just on the board. This is when we started the well, Fred is our past president. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. I've been on the board ever since then. Okay. Wow. So it's uh, definitely a passion for you. Job. Fred is one of the founding members of the yeah. society itself. We, we uh, are the Boone County Historical and Railroad Society. Mm -hmm. We've merged with the Railroad Society, but they were, uh, the Historical Society was in uh, a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. there were, uh, many of the past presidents were founding members as well. Mm -hmm. so. Well, Fred, when it started, how is it, how is it different now than the, when it started the museum yes uh, we have artifacts and documents and showcases and paint on the walls <laughs> things that we had none of those mm -hmm. we yep. took the building when it was vacated as a high school when the new high school was yep. built and the junior high moved out and uh, there was nothing there except the building that was about to fall down yeah. I mean, it really was a plaster, and everything was falling off. Now, you, you keep adding things, and you're, you're, how right. many floors does that have? Three or four floors? Three floors. Three floors. Now, you have, do you yeah. have items on the third floor? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. We okay. have three floors and room for more things, and when people find something they don't know what to do with, yeah. we'll take it. Now, okay. you take things on loan, too. Uh, no, no, oh, you no more. Do not? No more. Oh, okay. You but used we were to desperate in the beginning, okay. and, and we did take things on loan. Okay. Uh, I might say we have one thing, and that's uh, the rifle that shot Henry Starr. And yeah. uh, they didn't want, want to, to give that up. Too, yeah. think, that's Henry Mr. Starr. Myers, uh, and the, the Myers family has that rifle, mm -hmm. and they've loaned it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. How did they ha hang on to that? How did they get it? Well, it was in. Well, it was her William Myers' granddad that shot Henry Starr. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And that rifle well, had been in the vault mm -hmm. for ages. Okay. And they, they weren't even sure that it would fire, but he took a chance, and it did. And it did fire. Yeah. For those that don't know, give us a little um, update on who Henry Starr was. Oh, Henry Starr. In fact, I have his book. Uh, he wrote it while he was in the Oklahoma prison. Uh, it's supposed to be a 25-year sentence, but he was paroled early on. Anyway, uh, Henry Starr was a notorious bank robber. And uh, he met his Waterloo, as what was quoted in the newspaper, here in Harrison, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. He attempted the first automobile robbery of a bank and uh, it was not successful due to William J. Myers. Well, I thought you were going to say his car didn't start. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. The car no, started. He, in fact, they know the path the car took. 
They have witnesses that uh, saw the car, actually saw them uh, before they even made it into town. There oh, okay. was a young girl and her brother that were walking and saw the uh, gangsters uh, with guns getting into a car and never realized until later that they were the same individuals that mm. uh, wow. robbed the bank. And this uh, what it happened in what year? 1921. 1921. Not okay. to, it was, uh, uh, Henry Starr was, I think, 48 at that He's time. He was born in 1873. He was born in 1873, and mm -hmm. uh, he had. Uh, a number. Uh, he bragged about being the, you know, the most successful bank robber in all of the United States, and uh, he had quite a, quite a following. Mm -hmm. People thought he was very charismatic. People loved him. They listened to him. He was pardoned by two governors mm. and wow. and mm. Teddy Roosevelt mm. as president. Uh, commuted his life sentence. Well, it was a hanging. It he was supposed to be hung. Mm -hmm. And he now was he had, he had family in this area. Is that not? Is that no. true? He, he was from family. Oklahoma. Was okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in those days, the Indian Territory was notorious for housing a number of, uh, you know, gangsters mm -hmm. and, and uh, bank robbers and people that were running from the law. And they had um, his lands. Uh, the Indian Territory, of course, was, you know, pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, Fort Smith was, and, and Oklahoma City and Tulsa were uh, other fort areas, but um, Fort Smith was where the notorious Judge Parker, you, bet. Mm -hmm. you know, the hanging judge. Right. Um, now, why did, why did he pick Harrison to, to rob this bank? Do you know why? Uh, There's never really any, any... He's just passing through, maybe. About time well, to hit another bank. banks in Bentonville, and well, they just chose banks, and yeah. Harrison probably, uh, the bank Spell had some money. Path, mm -hmm. You know where the Willow Street Bridge used to be that washed away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they that's the way they drove off after they bank robbed uh, Actually, Henry Starr. Now, didn't that happen down where the Kaufman Center is yeah. now? Yeah, that was yeah. where the bank was, yeah. and Starr was inside. He had been shot, and the other three. And, and that's the Kaufman Here's, building there, there, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 And that's and, the, uh, the Willow, Willow Street, Street Bridge, bridge is right if you there go to the straight, right. you, you mm -hmm. cross the bridge. Uh, Mr. Myers came out of the building and shot at the car as it was co going across oh. the bridge. It got down to, uh, oh, about where Snyder's Mill used to be, and it caught on fire, whether they oh. burned it or not, but they took off on foot. And one, one of the gentlemen was from Searcy County, the driver of the car, mm -hmm. named Lockhart. Now, mm -hmm. you have some more photos, I think, uh -huh. of, of related. I think so. Maybe. <laughs> there. What is that? Okay. Well, that looks like Henry it says Starr's his, uh, uh, his, uh, his uh, signature there. Oh, that's, no, that's the bullet. Oh, the bullet. The bullet. Oh, the bullet. The okay, bullet I that see. Him. We have Pierce, a, it says flattened by piercing of spine. Uh -huh. We have a declaration, uh, wow. a dying declaration that, yeah, that he wrote. Yeah, we have his uh, confession. We have his too. kerchief. That's his confession. Uh, if if uh -huh. this book was written by him, he was a fairly intelligent individual. The words he used uh, are not the words I would expect. Mm -hmm. But the biography is primarily telling about why he became an outlaw. And this is the this gun that is our him, our display at the museum. Okay. Uh huh. That gun there is the one on the bottom. There is was Henry Starr's gun, and there's actually on the stock of the gun. The H E N R Y with a star. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, let me ask a question. He wrote this before that robbery, then. Yes. Oh, yeah. This Obviously. was written in 1914. Okay. While he was imprisoned in Oklahoma. Okay. Uh -huh. As okay, that. Uh, that was the stock. Yeah, the stock stocks. of the gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That the last picture at the very yeah. top was the rifle that that shot Henry Starr. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, what a great thing it. to have in our very own museum yeah. here. Yeah. And this is the kind of stuff you'll hear when you go to the museum. You'll have curators there well, that are going to tell you all kinds of stories. That's the case when you walk in the door. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, three floors, many rooms, all pretty much themed to certain areas. We have a railroad room, which uh, houses a very large collection of the m and railroad mm -hmm. memorabilia. Um, it was, uh, a lot of it was donated to us from the uh, younger brothers who had their own museum uh, over near Eureka in uh, Beaver. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, they wanted to 
bring it, and that's when we merged uh, the Railroad Society with the Historical Society mm -hmm. okay. uh, and created that railroad room. There are items in there that you won't find in most railroad collections. Mm -hmm. Or wow. just about out of time. Let's pe mm -hmm. let people know about your centennial celebration. That's What day is that now? It'll be April 30th. April 30th. It's April 30th. Monday. Now, the museum is open, and that's, what time is it going to be when you do that? At noon? At Around noon or okay. 11.30 or so, okay. when we'll start okay. that, we'll okay. have food. Oh, cool. Yeah, good. Good deal. Good. And uh, we'll have pop and uh, ice cream for dessert. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we just want people to come and join us and enjoy the museum and our festivities that we have that day. Right. What a great event. They also may turn the deed over the... the Oh, school good. board. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. It's Wonderful. about time they do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but well, there will be right. a schedule of events yes. in the newspaper. Okay. It will be yes. in the newspaper uh, as we get closer. Uh, we'll, you know, refine. We'll send one here too, and maybe we can talk about it. Okay. Maybe okay. We'll to. Have, We'd be happy. Maybe to. we can have someone come here again. And sure. Sure. Bet. That'd be great. Okay. That'd be great. Thank you all for Wonderful. being here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. All right. For having us. We're glad we're here. Our last guest is patiently waiting, and she'll be here in just a few seconds. Uh, Michelle Baylor from the Area Agency on Agency of Northwest Arkansas. Stay with us.